Hi, I'm Sonny Sasajima. I'm a senior lead officer signed out of Southwest Area LAPD, uh, currently assigned to the Lamert Park, uh, Park Mesa area. Well, uh, we were asked uh, by, by the park staff to uh, help out uh, coaching the first annual uh, T-Ball League here at Jim Gilliam Park. Um, I think there was a, some concern that uh, after all these years of the park being named after a Dodger great, uh, there was no T-Ball program that was here. And so when they wanted to uh, uh, start off the program here, they asked LAPD to uh, lend a hand uh, in coaching the kids. And I saw it as an opportunity to really step in there, uh, do a little bit more than what, um, what we normally do as a police officer, uh, get to know the kids, and uh, really, you know, step into the community. You can stand next to me, you can yell at people. Right. As far as with the Southwest Police Department, we couldn't do it without them. As far as uh, pitching in, being coaches and stuff like that, along with Johnny Rains that worked with the Neighborhood Council too, and um, that pitched it to Herb Wesson. Johnny Rains, he's the man that really made this happen up here. So, to have Johnny Rains here, also to have Officer Sausajima, take my hat off to him, because he puts bad time and resources into this park. So we had uh, Arturo Gonzalez, we had a couple of uh, Jose Saldana. You know, these guys came in and they put their time in and they worked. They worked. Actually, 99.9% .9 of it was coaching baseball. You know, you kind of forget, you forget uh, that you're a police officer, you're just dealing there trying to make sure that uh, the kids are learning how to play the game, how to play the game right, and have fun, most of all. I've worked with uh, Shell, I've worked with Chris before um, as part of Community Build, um, and you know, as, as part of uh, staff for the park over here. It was a lot of fun just working alongside them uh, in, a, in a, I guess you call it unofficial capacity because we actually were out there just goofing around, uh, having fun with the kids um, and it, they opened up a, 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 a much better relationship moving forward. It's great to have the police officers out here. Um, we feel safer in this community having them come out for every game. They're very patient. They're always supporting the kids while they're playing and it's just it's, it's nice to have them out here you know, supporting us. We're so used to the police saying, hey, you know, get up against the car, get up against the wall, what, you, what, what are you guys doing? This time the police were at a capacity where they were actually physically hands-on with these kids and not in a capacity of acting as a police officer, not policing, but actual involvement. Instead of saying, what's your name, what, what gang you from, these guys were saying, hey, this is how you catch a ball at first base, this is what you do. They were giving back to the community that they work in and even some of these officers that grew up in Los Angeles, they giving back to the communities that they come from. I think the kids, the, we were very well received by the, by the kids, by the parents. Um, you know, for the most part, not a lot of people knew that we were doing this and it wasn't really one of those things that we were, we were hyping out there. Uh, if anything, uh, working with the kids out here, we, we'd like them to kind of like uh, get some of the good memories uh, working with us and passing it along to their friends uh, moving on.